My grandpa makes model vehicles. I was always curious to see how such realistic models were made. After pleading with him for months, he let me into his workroom today. There were various models of cars, motorcycles, trucks and trains on the shelf. I was amazed to see hundreds of small parts on the table. He warned me not to touch anything. I asked him why there were so many parts. How many vehicles was he going to make? Grandpa said it was for one car. An average car is made up of around 3000 parts. He said the engine alone had 1200 parts. Wow. He then showed me drawings of bikes, trucks and trains. They all had so many parts. It must take him a long time to put it all together. I wonder how long it took people to put together a roll car. I was surprised when he said most car factories assemble around 50 cars every hour. How do they do it? He said it was because of assembly line. Before the industrial revolution, most machines were made individually by hand. A single craftsman or team of craftsmen would create each part of a machine. They would then assemble them into the final product, making cut and try changes in the parts until they fit and could work together. This took weeks and sometimes even months to assemble a car. This made it difficult for mass production. That is when they invented an assembly line, which is a manufacturing process in which parts are added mechanically, moving from workstation to station. On these lines, workers assemble or produce just one part of the whole product. This innovation reduced the time it took to build a car from more than 12 hours to 2 hours and 30 minutes. This gave mass production at a cheaper price. This revolutionized the world. He said modern assembly lines are getting faster by the day and some produce even 100 cars an hour. What has also changed is that many of the parts that go into assembling a vehicle aren't made on site. The vehicle company buys it from other companies, but what are the parts they gave did not fit or if they delivered late. Grandpa smiled. He said that is why it is very important for the vehicle companies to choose the right partners. Quality of the parts speak of the quality of the vehicle. My granddad worked at TII. He said that the company started with the objective of providing mobility to the common man in the form of a bicycle. Since then, it has diversified into making components to build two-wheelers, commercial vehicles, passenger cars, railway wagons and coaches. The automotive industry trusted in TII because of their strict adherence to quality and delivery time the motorcycle moped drive chains front and rear wheel sprockets that they make pass one out of every two motorbikes in india they are the market leaders in providing door frames to india's biggest and most popular cars i never knew making a vehicle involves so many parts so many machines and so many companies Grandpa gave me a train model kit. I can't wait to put it together.